There's an awful lot going on with our weather at the moment, with almost 40 centimetres of snow falling on Tuesday night across parts of Scotland. And yes, there is more snow to come on Wednesday night. We have an amber warning in force across parts of southern Scotland and northern England, but we also have a number of other warnings in force for strong winds, snow across other parts of the UK and ice. It's a complicated situation, so let's break it down and go through it bit by bit. Now, through the rest of Wednesday, the snow showers are easing, but they are continuing across parts of western Scotland in particular. And as they continue here through the night, and with things freezing up once more, there is the continued risk of things being particularly slippery on the roads, and with further snow showers to come, uh, some continued difficult travelling conditions. So we have a yellow warning in force for here. Behind me, you'll notice there's some wet weather pushing into Northern Ireland, and that is part of a, an active area of low pressure, which really mixes things up overnight tonight. It moves in across the UK. The isobars squeeze together. There'll be some strong winds. There'll be some heavy rain too. But there will also be some snow as this weather system arrives. Let's take a look in detail at the snowfall first of all. Just going to rewind and then run back through the course of this evening. As the wet weather hits the cold air across Northern Ireland, there will be snowfall. A mixture of rain, sleet and snow. The snow chiefly over the hills, but we could well see some at lower levels as the snow continues to fall for between four to six hours here. So that could cause some problems across Northern Ireland. That's through the first half of the night. And then as we run through the evening and overnight, particularly through the early hours, the snowfall gets quite heavy across southern Scotland and northern England. Now, this is an area that's already seen quite a lot of heavy snowfall, and so we could see some further problems. And we have an amber warning in force for that heavy snow across parts of southern Scotland and northern England. Three to eight centimetres at low levels, 20 centimetres on the hills. That's topping up what we've already seen, and that is set to cause some disruption. What do we mean by disruption? Well, certainly delays to rail and air traffic, treacherous conditions on the roads, Please just think about your journey. Do you really need to make that journey? And if you do, make sure you are prepared because the snowfall tonight could, like it did on Tuesday night, uh, cause people to be stranded in their cars. There's the likelihood of power cuts. So villages could get cut off as well as disruption to mobile phone signals. Now, there is some uncertainty about the exact track of that low pressure system. So the snow could also be a bit further north and a bit further south. And we have yellow warnings in force to cover for that across much of central Scotland and down across a large part of northern England. So even if you're not in the amber area, there is the likelihood of further snow, again, potentially causing disruption. So that's the snowfall overnight tonight. But as the low moves in, as I talked about earlier, the isobars are really squeezing together. And that means the winds are set to pick up. And um, there could well be some very strong winds across the central sway from northern England, across the Midlands, through Wales and parts of East Anglia. We're talking 50 to 60 mile an hour gusts, maybe 70 mile an hour gusts, particularly around coast in the west and over hills. Again, that could cause some disruption. There could be some flying debris, may bring branches and could cause uh, some trees to come down. So again, delays on rail and road services are possible. Now, this is happening mostly through the early hours. But again, another area for concern down the eastern side, where again, those winds will be strong through the rush hour because they'll be happening when people are getting up, getting moving down through parts of East Yorkshire, Lincolnshire and East Anglia, those gusts in the morning, again, still potentially causing some disruption to travel to flights, rail and on the roads. Now, that low pressure system scoots away, potentially bringing some very strong winds, damaging gusts across other parts of northwest Europe on Thursday. Behind it, well, low pressure is still in control and we've still got cold air. So although things will calm down a little bit, there will still be plenty of snow showers packing into parts of Northern Ireland and Western Scotland. And of course, wherever there's any snow lying, things freezing up does bring the potential for ice. So we also have warnings in force through Thursday and Friday for snow and ice across parts of the north and the west. And there's the potential for further wintry weather even into the weekend, especially on Sunday. So there's lots going on. Please keep up to date with the weather forecast, with the warnings. We're monitoring the situation all the time. Things can change rapidly. So make sure you stay up to date by keeping up to date with the Met Office website, downloading the Met Office app where you can get presented forecasts, highlighting the details, highlighting the warnings.